Lieutenant McBain, frustrated that his efforts to rescue Dr. Marty Sabrick were thwarted, quit the police force during a heated exchange with Mayor Lowell hey. earlier this evening. Coming Jeez. up next, hey. what the lieutenant said that husband. Uh, I didn't expect to see you here again. Did you bring Shane? Oh, he's at school. Right, of course. Uh, he's track of the days in here. How's he doing? He's got a part in his class's Thanksgiving play. Really? Who's he playing? Don't laugh. The turkey. <laughs> the turkey? Mm -hmm. Is he stoked or is he embarrassed? I think a little bit of both. <laughs> That's probably a good thing to let him... Get on stage and act silly. Yeah, I know. I bet that's what the teacher had in mind. Which... Yeah. Uh, look, the reason I came here is because I wanted to give you a heads up. About what? Rex. Falls, I'm good to see you up and around. Oh. Sit there. How you feel? Uh, like a stand, I can eat, but I still can't get dressed yeah, well, by myself. You'll get back to all that. Yeah, I know, but sometimes it's just, just like enough already. I just want things to get back to the way they were, you know? <laughs> what? Just say it. You know that's never going to happen, right? Things will never be the way they were. Number one, you have a son now. You're a, you're a dad. Number two, your son saw you get shot by the man that uh, he thought was his father. That's what I stopped by to talk to you about. You ready to make a statement about Brody? Actually, not so much. What happened to Rex? He's not back in the hospital, is he? He's fine. I mean, he's actually doing really well. I'm sure he'll feel even better when they put me away. Rex doesn't want to put you away, Brody. Right. No, I'm telling you the truth. He wants to make sure that you don't end up in prison. You don't want Lovett to be locked up for almost killing you? <sighs> Look, I'm not smoking the peace pipe here, but I'm also not looking for revenge. Well, revenge and justice are two different things, Boston. I know that. And the fact is that Lovett broke a few laws. Look, the guy was clearly out of it. Well, well, no argument, but he's still a danger to society. Because he volunteered to serve his country. He was following orders. He, he fought a war. He was told to fight. He put his life on the line every day. And what does he get out of it? A head full of crazy dreams. The Navy cut him loose because he's not enlisted anymore. Come on. The guy needs help. A punishment. Oh, you're right. The system doesn't always work. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but I'm willing to testify or, or, or write a statement or something saying that I don't want Brody to go down for shooting me. It's a little more complicated than that, Rex. Okay, I know that I can't get the charges dropped, but is there any way that I can help him? Brody has to be charged with assault, attempted murder, and endangering the welfare of a child. He could have killed you, Rex. Or Shane, or Gigi, or anyone else on that mountain. We all know that was war-related. Bo, you know I can't let him walk on this. Well, Maura, what if you... What if you plead love it out, and Balsam testifies at sentencing? Then he could go to a, a psychiatric hospital instead of a prison. Well, a, a statement from Rex would certainly lighten his sentence, but it wouldn't exonerate him. Guys, I, I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of choice here. Brody has to spend some time behind bars. Rex wants to make sure I don't go to prison. I shot the guy. Your friend, Wes, he came by to talk to us and to see if we were willing to try to help you. I never wanted him to do that, and I never told him to. Okay, well, he did. He obviously cares about you. Semper Fi and all that. That's the Marines. You know what I mean. He's a good friend to you. I'm glad he came to talk to us. I can take care of my own mess. Brody. Look. Rex and I, we get it. I know that you were back in Iraq when you pulled the trigger. You know that, huh? You know that for a fact? Yeah, I do. And it's nothing to be ashamed of. Look, Brody, we don't want to see you suffer any more than you already have. I shot an unarmed civilian. Shane's father, the guy you're in love with. 
because you were in a bad place, you needed help, and now we want to make sure that you get it. I don't want Shane to see you go to prison. He loves you. You stepped up and took care of him, even though he wasn't yours. Rex and I will always be grateful. So now it's our turn to do something right for you. Statesville. That's your best offer, prison. Okay, he's sick. How's that going to help him? Not so much that he didn't understand his actions. That's bull! It's the law, Rex. Uh, didn't we learn something from what happened with Marty Saybrook? I mean, di didn't John teach us a thing or two about thinking outside the box or destroying the box and doing what our gut or our conscience tells us to do? Come on. We can reach back into that bag of tricks of ours and come up with something to do for loving. Okay.